master herbalist. The current longest living record belongs to a master herbalist named Li Ching Yun. The May 16, 1933 issue of Times Magazine ran an article about his life. The article was titled, Tortoise Pigeon Dog. It stated, Traveling Chinese herbalist reported to have buried 23 wives and had 180 descendants has died at the age of 256 years of age. The amazing story was not just popular in China, but made its way to the United States. Li learned the secrets of longevity from a 500-year-old hermit in the Tibetan mountains in 1776. He told Li to consume a daily soup containing Lyceum barbarum, known as the goji berry, and incorporate ginseng, Ganoderma lucidium, Fo Tai, Astragalus root, and Gotu Koa as part of his daily diet program. Li was known to have consumed a single soup per day with every ingredient told to him by this master herbalist. Even when he consumed rice wine, it supposedly was infused with these herbs. By the time he was 10 years of age, he had already traveled to Kansu, Shanxi, Tibet, Anam, and Siam, gathering herbs with his father, who was a traveling herbalist. Most of the information gathered about Mr. Li was from a general by Chinese warlord Wu Fiu, who was fascinated by him. He brought Li into his home in an attempt to discover the secrets of living long and took detailed notes on his life, diet, exercise, and thoughts. He noted that Li told him the secret to long life is to sit like a tortoise, walk springly like a pigeon, and sleep like a dog. Remove all stress from your life and consume medicinal herbs continuously. Wu discovered Chinese government records from 1827 congratulating Li on his 150th birthday. Li also lectured at the Beijing University at the age of 150, and further documents later congratulating him on his 200th birthday in 1877. In 1928, a New York Times correspondent wrote that many of the old men in Li's neighborhood asserted that his grandfather knew him when they were boys, and that he, at the time, was a grown man. After Li's death, Yang Sin wrote a report about him called A Factual Life Account of the 250-Year-Old Good Luck Man, in which he describes Li's appearance. He states, Li had good eyesight and a brisk stride. Li stands seven feet tall and has very long fingernails and a ruddy complexion. Li had no hair left anywhere on his body, his face, nor his head. He still had his teeth and walked everywhere he needed to go. He needed no assistance in anything he required. Li was a practitioner of Qigong and the traditional Confucius teachings, which stated that one must venerate one's body, including body parts like hair and nails, because it was all given to us by our parents. Because he had no hair to grow, he instead decided to grow his fingernails. Wu Chang Che, a professor at the Chengdu University, found records proving that Li was born in 1677. Li truly was an exception, but it goes to show a long life practice of herbalism has not just a minute effect on one's health and longevity, but an astounding life altering effect with the potential to change one's expiration date. The coroner reported that Li died from natural causes on May 6, 1933, in Sichuan, Republic of China, and was survived by his 24th wife, a woman of 60 years of age. I would like to point out that Li had been traveling and not consuming his normal diet, which I believe may have led to his demise. Li produced somewhere around 180 to 200 descendants, over 11 generations during his lifespan. The October 1929 newspaper article talks about Mr. Li and accounts him as living to 256 years of age. The article titled, Living Forever, still exists in the archives. Some have come close to living as long as Lee, but few with the vitality and health recorded in history.